Alright guys, it's been a little bit, you know, but, but uh, with the hack and stuff, I couldn't really do stuff. But this video, I'm in Molten Core. It's kind of rare to find uh, pre-BC raids anymore, but I was lucky enough to find a Molten Core raid. Um, so I decided to come on my rogue, grab some gear. I did get some parts of Tier 1, um, which is not that much better than the gear I had on. But it was a little bit, some stats were better. Basically, all I'm going to be able to show is boss fights from this, because there's quite a few bosses. It's going to take two uh, different videos. So, uh, basically, uh, it's going to be, this is part one, I'm going to have part two released. It might go into part three, I'm not sure about that yet. But, basically, um, I'm just going to be rambling on, because I really don't know these fights at all. I was not a pre-BC uh player, so I really don't know much about this fight, um, uh, I was on vent, but I really didn't learn much from this instance, you know, doing it just once, and I'm probably not going to come back again, basically, uh, we had, uh, from a 20 to 25 man raid at the start, to a 15 to 20 man raid, uh, at the end at Ragnar's, uh, we downed him, uh, it took about an hour, to get through the entire instance, maybe two, hour and a half, somewhere around there. Uh, but we had mostly 70s in our group, so it, it went pretty fast. Uh, this fight I remember pretty uh, well because I couldn't do anything because that arcane explosion uh, hits really hard. Like you'll see me hit here after that teleport, he hits me for a K, and that's without the curse on. With the curse, it increases it by 100%, so he probably would like one shot me. Um, so I really had to get out of there. The only thing I was doing is, th uh, thrown weapon. I couldn't use my deadly throw because, uh, uh, I didn't have any, uh, combo points, so I couldn't do any, uh, deadly throw. I was trying not to die any times near. I only died three times. Once, I died on my own, and then the other two times I died is when we wiped because, uh, the overpulls. Uh, you may think it's easy because it's a group of 70s, a couple 60s in here. It's really still hard. I mean, you think there's 60 elites. They hit, they still hit hard. They're not just, you know, little, little baby, baby things. That's the boots I won, tier 1, the Night Slayer boots. Uh, this, this boss, uh, I remember pretty good too. Basically, don't worry about the boss. Just kill his, uh, helpers, and he surrenders. Uh, this, this, these videos aren't in order, I know. I just put the shortest, uh, fights in the first video, and then the longer fights are gonna be in the second video. Hopefully it doesn't spill into the third one. But if it does spill into a third one, it'll probably be, uh, Ragnaros, uh, and maybe one other boss, but, uh, Ragnaros is obviously gonna be last. I'm not gonna put him first. I hope I didn't put him first, actually. I just looked up the times. Um, I got teleported there, and then onto that fire. The heals were great in this these groups because uh I barely died. Like I guess I only died three times and two were on a wipe, so one on my own. Uh didn't get any experience out of here, just got some really nice loot. Uh we didn't have too much uh uh low level like sixty clothies or else uh, they would have had great time here. Like a mage we had a bunch of mage stuff drop. And a paladin and a, uh the warrior set the whole set dropped. Uh, no, 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 the whole pally set dropped, and then a lot of the warrior set dropped as well. So, basically, we downed him, and then the loot comes up. Uh, basically, if you didn't need it, we passed on it, and then the shards were given to the, uh, uh, group, uh, uh, groupie that I had disenchanting, so you can disenchant them. Uh, holy crap, that scared me. Whatever, um... This is the first boss in the place, I know that much, but he's like later. Um, didn't have any fire resistant gear. The 70s didn't need it really, they were resisting stuff. I was resisting most of the stuff, but still, it would have helped to have. But this is the fun parts of the game, I think. The stuff I missed, because I, you know, I didn't come here. Um, the stuff I missed, I, I, I think that's the funnest stuff in the game, because... Like, uh, I don't, it's not daily, like, Kara is, guilds are doing it, like, you know, 
a lot of guilds are doing it one time or it's daily and stuff like that. Like this, this stuff doesn't happen a lot anymore. I also got in invited to AQ, which was nice. I got uh nothing out of there though, but it was still fun. I, I like doing the pre Burning Crusade stuff because it's just something you don't get to do daily, and uh, when you get the chance, you might want to jump at it. Um, one thing people probably want to know was, uh, since I'm on Storm Reaver, how the Hobbs uh, thing went, and if you didn't hear, Alliance pretty much didn't do anything to the Horde. I base I wasn't there, but I've seen videos on it up by uh, Torre and stuff, and uh, he made a Horde, and he really showed that. Alliance did absolutely nothing, basically. They got to Thrall's room, and then <clears throat> they basically all wiped. Um, so, I really didn't help. Uh, and sorry for these silences, like, guys, but uh, I really don't have much else to say sometimes, you know. It's kind of hard to think what to say. Um... These tall bosses, too, like Ragnaros, this, he was taller than this guy. It was really hard to get his whole body in here. But Ragnaros looks really cool, though. Uh, it was kind of it was fun seeing him. Probably a once-in-a-game-time thing, you know. I'm not going to be able to see him again, probably. Unless I come back here, but I doubt that. But if I do, it's kind of fun. And uh, hit you once. His name is Blue, because he's a uh, friend of mine. So he's on my friends list, and... They get blued names. Uh, for the second part, I might throw in some music. Um, but I do want to narrate the Ragnaros thing, because that was a fun fight. I mean, he was not that hard. He didn't get to summon his hatchling things. Uh, that really put a, did some damage to us. But he still uh, is... A, you gotta be strategy. You can't just be all around him. Um, casters and stuff gotta stand in one place and... Me, they gotta stand in another. I mean, it's just different because uh, when you go on YouTube and you type in like Ragnaros, which uh, when I first started playing, I thought he was the best. I didn't even know about Ill Illidan and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so uh, basically, I just looked at Ragnaros and stuff, and uh, I see, like, if when you see him, it's like, wow, it looks like, I mean, it's a 40 man raid of 60s, so. It's a lot of things, and you just see fireballs and arcane missiles and frost bolts and everything just flying at them. And, well, we didn't need that too much. Um, basically, most of the fight is exactly with that view right there. I, I mean, that's the best I could do with it. If I was a caster, I probably would have had a better view on it, but I'm a rogue. Alright, well, second part will be coming out uh, shortly. I'm probably going to make it along with this, so uh, hang tight, guys. Subscribe, rate, comment, and uh, second part, look for it.